I've often asked myself and found others asking me, what is the purpose of being transgender? Why did I choose this path, which, to be honest, has been some of the most difficult life lessons I've ever experienced? I've been homeless before, I've had no money, I've gotten denied jobs, and the whole world, with the exception of my inner heart, has tried to get me to align to what they want instead of to what I knew was in my heart from the time I was four. So I knew from the time I was four that I was trans and I was different. I just didn't have the words to identify and label how I felt at the time. So from four to until I was 19 years old, which is when I came out as trans, I just knew that I always felt different. And one of the things that has recently come to my mind and my heart is why would anybody choose this path? Why would anybody want to be different? Why would anybody want to go through the struggle and the pain and the heartache? And the reason I came here to do that and to go through all these surgeries and to, to align to more of who I am is because I'm here to be bold. I'm here to be defiant and not be told how to live, what to do, and basically to just remain true to who I am no matter what. And that is no matter what box I choose to identify with. And I'm happiest when I'm myself, when I'm raw, when I'm real. And I've had moments when people have tried to pull me off my path, including myself. I've tried to conform to gender and to from basically four to 19 years old, I was presenting more as female and feminine and identified more with that because I was listening to other people at times. Yet there was something that I always knew within me that said no. And when I was more masculine and more young energy, when I was more of myself, that's when I encountered the most resistance is when that other people were trying to get me to be who of more they are. And if you let them, if you're not centered within yourself, and if you don't know who you are, then you will get pulled along by other people who don't know who they are or who have forgotten who they are. And paying most of the people in my family just work, pay bills, and die, and raise a family, and that's not what I'm here to do. That's all well and good for some people, but that's not the point of life. That's called death. That is not living. That is dying. Day by day, getting up, going to a job that you hate, and I've been there, not been passionate about life, and I've gone through ups and downs with depression, and had suicidal thoughts, and thought about ending my life, and why did I think about ending my life? Because I wasn't remembering who I am. Source energy in a physical vessel having a temporary human experience. I, for the last 17 years now, I came out at 19 and I haven't looked back since. I realized I recognized who I am and I came here to be bold and not try to get everybody else to conform. To try to get every try to get me to conform to their standards I conform to my own standards and I am happy and I am proud and I am awesome and so are you and if you're here listening to this you're a rainbow worker you're a rainbow light worker you're a rainbow warrior you're here to be source energy in the physical and by doing that you just listen to your inner self and what you want to do I'm not here to do what you want me to do. I'm here to do what I want to do for myself. And that is the biggest truth and some advice that I would give to the guys out there questioning their identity. Are you trans? Are you not? Should you transition? Should you not? Is to stop listening to everybody else. Tune out all the, the noise and the garbage and people telling you that you have to be a certain way and just sit with yourself. Be yourself. Be by yourself and ask yourself the important questions. Who are you and what do you want out of life? So some of the ways, some of the practical tips that I can give you to do that is 
just what I'm doing sitting here right now, sitting out in nature, going out and being by yourself. Go meditate. Go for a walk. Go ground your energy. I use crystals. I walk around with a potato in my pocket because it helps to ground me. And point blank, I just don't give a crap about what anyone else says about me and what box and what label I should fit into. I am a spiritual being with a high vibration, and so are you. I'm here to embrace rainbow light energy and going through a spiritual awakening over and over and over again. And just most people really have just tuned out who they are. And yeah, what what good is working a job and questioning whether or not you want to go through with surgery and all this other stuff and that's not going to fix or change anything so i hope you like this video and just again some practical tips is to meditate ground your energy sit outside shut off the phone journal and that's some tips as to how i got more in touch and in center with who i am and lastly your feelings are your guide if something feels happier and a little bit more uplifting then that is your inner being your inner self as abraham hicks says telling you that you're on the right path and sometimes just going from crap to suck is a better way to do that than just by pretending that you're happy all the time so i hope this helps and check out my channel for more tips on natural living, natural therapeutics, healing arts, Reiki, massage, special needs, transgender, and just law of attraction stuff. So peace, unity, namaste.